Hello, I am Tilheim, and welcome back to some more Endless Legend. So, I've changed my mind, and I'm going to try and take this city. So I'm going to start sieging it, at least. Take down this infiltration, and then when that's down enough, I'm going to launch the attack. But for now, let's end my turn. Okay, what else can I do with these guys? I'm curious to see if one of these necrodrones can actually kill both of the eyeless ones. Let's see what the um. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's do this. So it said there should be two of them. I can only see one. Must be their reinforcement point. So it looks like I've got two one versus ones. Which is going to work out very well for me. Well, that went very well. Okay, so, what should I do with these guys? I might as well move them up to the Lai's area. I'm gonna try and settle. I think I'm gonna try and get my whole continent settled and control all of it, and then have a look to the other continent afterwards. So, let's build another Eyeless One district there, and it looks like they're going to try and fight me. And I'm curious to see how this is going to go. Now, I'm going to try and get the poison, or the disease, on the whole army as soon as I can. But it doesn't mean my army's going to be split up, because my reinforcements come from here. But my guys should be tanky enough to survive until then. So during the summer, all of the Alai guys are going to have more health and less damage. It's kind of interesting. That chain lightning is going to be a big pain though. But, I just keep getting more guys joining the battle. Okay, I think what I'm most worried about, most worried about, is this tall guy here, because my advantage comes from my numbers. And that chain lightning attack, where it strikes multiple people at once, is kind of a right pain. But 
but luckily, being the one to attack him, so I got a higher initiative, means I don't think he gets the chain lightning on a counter attack. Also, these guys have infantry slayer, and I've got a lot of infantry. So that's a pain. He could have been very smart about starting this fight. Because I think he's going to do very well in this battle. Right, so there's no more reinforcements and I only have a slight number advantage over him now. And all of his units have infantry slayer. But I guess I do have the disease. I guess I just keep fighting. I think this battle is going to run out of phases. Oh, I've almost lost my first unit, and they should go down because they are surrounded. There they go. But this gives a chance for more of my units to move up in this last round. cool that you get extra defense from being inside the city. One HP left. I just realized, I don't think Necrophage work well with the minor factions, because of the whole disease and disease immunity. Anyway, let's keep up that siege, let's move these guys to join the fight. And do I have any other units anywhere? No, I don't. Okay, next turn. Getting more spice extractors. Yeah, let's fight this again. Now, this time... Actually... Yeah, that's fine. I can afford to lose units as long as I'm killing. Get the extra food income. Keep up this attack. That 
guy is just such a boss. This one HP guy running forward. I'm not sure he's going to be achieving much. Yeah, I'm surprised the shifters are being the LIE, whatever they're called, are being on the aggressive here. I thought they would have had a better chance just waiting. Maybe not. I need the next necrophage soldier, the one which can shoot people and infect them to spawn extra troops after the battle is over. Such a cool mechanic. So all we have left now is a settler. Oh dear. I think this guy's gonna die. I've actually got a surprising amount of attack. No, they're gone. I was worried there because my 19 health guy could have been killed maybe. Okay. So, does he have anything defending the city? No. It is now mine. Okay, rebellion. Uh, whatevs. Let's go and get some ruins. Building this army up. Emeralds, eh? So, am I now collecting spices? I'm not sure, but I'm gonna use my food stockpiles to increase my cities. And yeah, go go there. Put up with that army. And do we have this? I'll just go for the extra food again. Yeah, I get extra life on my units, and I would rather have production in gold. So if it's got to the point where I don't need as much gold, there we go. Okay. Get the borough district. Uh, what do I want you? Six extra production sounds really good. Then rebuild the minor faction. Then get glass steel. And that's it, I think. Oh, Empire Mint. Obviously need that. Okay. Next turn. And I've reached a new era. So. That is going to be important to get my reduced upkeep. Then I want my these guys because they're amazing. And next, I want the one to increase the army slot size. There we go. Uh, then demanding gods. And then I want this market because I'm going to be expanding. So I definitely want the improved approval. 
that's going to be very important to keep my empire running reasonably well while I'm expanding like crazy. And of course the reduced upkeep means I can get more soldiers and have to worry less. Oh well, I actually defeated those guys. Okay. Worry less about running out of gold. So I'm beginning to get my spice extractor now. I've got the glass steel, I just need the spices. And once I get to 20, I can complete that quest. So let's continue expanding and exploring. See this. Okay, that's that. And let's see who my next neighbours are. Who are these guys? Is that the Forgotten? I think it might be. Okay, next turn. And now, I am building another settler. Here we go. But filling this difficulty might be a bit too easy for me. I am just... Looks like they have army, it's not that great. But they have two regions. Which is one region more than the other guy. I think. Grown to seven. Wow. Quite a city. Okay, right. Let's get search that. Pick up those pearls. Actually, let's have a look if I can buy anything else. I can't buy that yet because it requires the third winter. Ice works. That looks really good if you've got coastal cities. This allows you to turn piles into stockpiles. I wonder what the pearl accessories are. Let's unlock that. And then have a look-see. Retaliation boost. That's cool. Retaliation deflector. Seem to be stuff that's connected with the extra bonuses. Like that could be really good. The extra pearl collection. It kind of it's connected to stuff which they've introduced in the expansion. On me. So you can get Ice Walker and Retaliation Deflector. Okay. I wonder what the pearl armors are, actually. Pearl armor. Have a look at what that does. Division immunity, winter attribute immunity, winter movement immunity. So you can become completely immune to the negative effects of winter. It only costs pearls. I was getting more defense, speed, and retaliation reduction. And health and attack. They are really good. Well, I might get that on my main hero. I mean, it's pretty decent, but I'll need more pearls before I can get that. Well, that is enough for this episode, so I hope you have a great day, and thanks for watching.